going to turn off all notifications. Look at me playing in the head. Look at me being a professional. So I haven't touched on really anything that's going on right now other than like listen to experts and not <laughs> YouTubers and be safe and stay home and practice social distancing, right? Partly because I want the channel to be a sort of safe space, you know, where it's it's focused on what you're here for, veganism, and also just kind of more positive, fun stuff. Like I like puzzles and that sort of thing. Um, and also just for my own sake, you know, I'm constantly reading about the pandemic and, you know, I'm on Twitter all the time again, which is just, it's been great. Of course, it's a great decision to get back on Twitter. Um, and so, yeah, for my own just personal happiness and well-being, I guess, I would rather not make a ton of videos on this. And plus, I can't monetize them anyway, which it kind of is important for me. So, and I'm glad YouTube has that policy in place. I'm not knocking the policy at all. But um, yeah, point being, um, there have been a number of vegans, including vegan influencers who have expressed some ridiculous opinions, positions when it comes to all of this. Freely's video comes to mind as kind of mind is uh, the sort of most egregious, at least that I've seen. It's uh, pretty shocking. YouTube did remove it. Thank God. But there are others as well, including Fully Raw Christina, which I guess is not too surprising. She has this video from about a week ago called What Supplements I'm Currently Taking Health Protocol Vegan not sponsored, which we'll talk about in a minute. And it's exactly what you would expect. It's supplements that she is taking during the current situation because she says in the description, I am not claiming to cure or heal any virus here. I am recommending a nutrient rich diet and supplementation to help one recover and heal as best as possible along with exercise, sunshine, fresh air, and clean water. These are merely the vitamins and supplements that I am choosing to put inside of my body, and this is the protocol I've been sharing with my family to help them get well too. Everyone in my family has noticed a significant difference in taking these supplements, and I hope this information or these resources can be of use to you too. So she's not claiming that this is going to cure you or, um, I guess, protect you. I mean, she doesn't really say that anywhere. Again, I it's pretty, it's pretty vague, but I guess her point is that if you do test positive, then this will help you heal and recover. So um, I would assume that she would have some evidence for that, some sources for these supplements that she's recommending and how they can help you heal faster. She doesn't, I mean, of course she doesn't. She also says this at about a minute 30. I am not recommending any specific supplement to any one of you. But then two minutes later says, I recommend these supplements and these brands because they are the highest quality brands that I have found in my 14, almost 15 years of being on this journey. So she's not recommending any specific supplements, but also here are the specific supplements that she recommends. <laughs> Okay, it's it's a little bit confusing to me. It seems like she's trying to uh, have her cake and eat it too, so to speak. She's trying to recommend these supplements so she has content for a video and also possibly so she can make some money as an affiliate, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but she doesn't want to take on the burden of recommending stuff to people that like have side effects and can actually harm them, right? As a non-doctor, as she says. Um, yeah, you, you can't have it both ways. Either you're recommending these to people or you're not. And I need to let you know that this video is not sponsored at all. I am not being paid by any one company to promote a product to you. Yeah, but she says in the description and later in the video that she is an affiliate for two of the companies that she's recommending here, that she isn't being paid by any single company to sell you a specific product or any benefits associated with them. 
but she's still being paid. If someone buys one of these products through her links, she makes money off of that sale. That's what affiliate means. She doesn't say which products in the description and the blog posts in the video. For full transparency and just to be clear, I am an affiliate for two of the products that I'm mentioning here. I assume it's the Sun Warrior stuff and maybe the Symbiotica one is another company. I know she has promoted Sun Warrior in the past and seems to be like an affiliate for them, but she doesn't say explicitly in this video. According to the FTC, just having, just saying I'm an affiliate in a video or in a description is not good enough. People should not have to go looking for information on endorsements. It should be right there along with the product. So in the video, when she is talking about a specific product that she is an affiliate for, that she makes a commission on, if someone orders you know, via her link or whatever, she needs to say that explicitly. She doesn't. I get what she's trying to say about the difference between sponsor and affiliate. If someone has sponsored a video, it's only gonna be for them, right? So if Sun Warrior has sponsored the video, they're not gonna want her talking about other companies, right? It's only going to be about the Sun Warrior product or line of products or whatever. They're going to review the video ahead of time to make sure everything's okay before she posts, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's a lot more restrictive, I guess, than just being an affiliate, but should does that really matter to us as consumers like what matters is that we know whether or not you are being paid if we purchase something through you the stuff is really important not just from a legal aspect but also just from a you know caring about people who are watching your stuff and making sure you're providing accurate information and making sure you're explaining things correctly because not everyone even knows what affiliate means so if you are doing any of this, any sort of sponsorships, marketing, anything like that, please make sure that you are well-versed in government guidelines and that you are following them properly. I know in the past that I've told people, get checked before you supplement and get blood tests. Um, I think we're just in different time right now. Like we are in a global pandemic where uh, the circumstances are a little bit different. They're massively different. And I think striving to achieve health is one of the most important things that we can do right now. Health is our wealth right now. She's being incredibly vague here, and I guess I'm not surprised. What she's referring to was potentially very dangerous. For those who don't know, she was telling vegans to wait to get tested before supplementing with B12. Vegans, you know, people who don't consume B12. We don't have sources of B12 in terms of like whole foods. We have to get it from fortification, from, you know, a little pill that you take or whatever. Yeah, instead of just telling her audience that, instead of telling her audience to take a safe, cheap, effective supplement, she went against every major health organization, dietetic organization, and told people to just wait until they're deficient. I responded to her B12 video where she said all of that and a bunch of other wrong, you know, insane stuff about B12 as well. She did uh, at some point unlist the video, probably partially because of my video and also just a lot of comments ended up on her video just telling her like, hey, you're totally wrong about this. So she did end up unlisting her video no attempt to explain to your, her audience why, like why she removed the video, what she got wrong. Um, no attempt to point them to like good sources, accurate sources for vegan nutrition and health. For someone who constantly talks about personal growth and becoming a better person, she really doesn't seem to embody that on her channel. You know, people who really care about growing about being better, care about misinformation and about correcting that misinformation, not just burying it and pretending like it never happened. The reason why I'm supplementing right now is not because I have any nutritional deficiencies. I recently had my blood work done. I'm nearly perfect in everything. The reason why I'm supplementing is because I want to set a good example for people and because I recognize, especially in times like these, that most people's diets are nutritionally deficient in many things. So supplementing for nutrients that you don't need is setting a good example? What? <laughs> what? 
can't she just tell people like can't she just make this video and tell people about supplements that she thinks are useful without taking them herself it, it seems to me that you know maybe she's not as confident in the completeness completeness of her diet as she claims to be. You know, she's constantly saying how raw she is, how healthy she is, how amazing she feels. I also want to say that I feel amazing. Yeah. So let's get into the products now. As you can see, there are there are a lot. There's a lot of stuff here. So she starts with this cellular health bundle from Sun Warrior. Um, again, I assume this is one of the affiliate products since she has worked with them and I think, you know, always kind of um, works with them. So this costs $99, actually $99.85 right now. And it only covers about 30 days. The, the liquid light has 32 servings. The immune shield has 47 and the mineral rush has only 24. And she takes more than a serving a day of the mineral rush. She says a tablespoon, a serving is two teaspoons a day. And there's no mention of price ever in the video. She never talks about the prices of things. Your health is your wealth, as she says. Unless you're poor, then get fucked, I guess. So let's start with the liquid light. It's just some iodine, about half of daily value, little bit of iron and a tiny bit of chromium for $35 a month. All of these nutrients are important and that is a decent amount of iodine, but that is barely any iron or chromium. I cannot imagine paying so much for so little. And look, if you actually need these because you have a deficiency, if you have a diagnosed deficiency, iron deficiency, a couple milligrams is not going to help you. If you're worried that your diet isn't like up to snuff just generally, which you should be if you eat like Christina, then just take a standard multi. I take the Deva multi. It's cheap as hell and it's got like pretty much everything in it, including B12. Um, if you're more interested in the sort of like whole food sourced whatever, those are available too and they are more expensive, but you can still get them for way cheaper than this. Next is Immune Shield, $29.95 for 47 servings of silver, ionic silver specifically, whatever it's called, ionic silver, colloidal silver, coated silver, it's bullshit. Silver has no known purpose in the body, nor is it an essential mineral, as some sellers of silver products claim. Manufacturers of colloidal silver products often claim that they are cure-alls, boosting your immune system, fighting bacteria and viruses, and treating cancer, HIV, shingles, herpes, eye ailments, and prostate inflammation. However, no sound scientific studies to evaluate these health claims have been published in reputable medical journals. In fact, the FDA has taken action against some manufacturers of colloidal silver products for making unproven health claims. And chronic consumption can result in argyria, which looks like this. It is permanent, so that's fun. High doses can even cause kidney damage and seizures, and it can react with certain medications. Christina doesn't mention any of this, any of the potential side effects, that there's no evidence for taking it, none of that stuff. She only says that it's incredible and that it has benefits of some kind, I guess. But you know, she says she's not a doctor, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> Actual doctors say not to drink this shit, say not to drink silver. So please, please do not drink silver, pandemic or not. Lastly, for this little bundle at least, don't worry, there's a lot more. We have Vitamin Mineral Rush, $35 for 24 servings, so close to $45 a month. This is just an insanely expensive multi that's still missing nutrients that vegans might be interested in, like zinc. And the amount of iron and iodine is absolutely laughable, but it does have vitamin D and B12. So that's great. It's really great to see that she has changed her mind specifically on B12 and is actually recommending and, and taking B12 herself. That's terrific. So the liquid light, the immune shield, vitamin mineral rush, $100 for some nutrients that you can get elsewhere for a million times cheaper uh, and silver. Great start. 
With this bundle that she takes every day, she also takes the Sun Warrior Liquid Magnesium. Liquid Magnesium makes you poop sometimes. $15 for 28 servings. Magnesium deficiency is incredibly rare because most of us eat enough, especially vegans. Like it's, it's pretty much impossible to become deficient in magnesium if you are eating plants. A peanut butter sandwich with two tablespoons of peanut butter, a banana, and a glass of soy milk is almost like 50% of the RDA for me. Oh, and this supplement exceeds the tolerable upper intake level for supplemental mag magnesium. Adults should not get more than 350 milligrams from supplements. This has 428. Vitamin B12 and vitamin D. These are the other supplements that she takes every day. These are from Symbiotica. $48 for the B12, $77 for the D3. It also has K2 in it and CoQ10. Uh, these are both 30 day supplies. 40, oh God, I can't even like, it's making me nauseous how expensive these are. I can't imagine paying $77 a month for just D3 and K2, oh my God. Again, she never mentions price, but presumably she thinks it's worth it. She says these are like the best versions, the best supplement, the best brand on the market. She doesn't explain why. She never explains why she thinks that. This would be confusing just on its own, given the plethora of options when we're talking about B12 and even vegan D3 now that are on the market today. But it's even more confusing considering she's already mentioned products, the Vitamin Mineral Rush, that contain vitamin B12 and vitamin D. So her diet is perfect, but she feels the need to take almost six times the RDA for vitamin D every single day. Maybe she doesn't know that that's how much she's taking. Maybe she's not paying attention to the amount that is in these products, which does happen. This is why people should take supplements very seriously and why we should talk to our doctors, talk to actual professionals before we start taking just a bunch of, of stuff. <laughs> like, <sighs> Again, every vegan should supplement for B12 and most of us should supplement for vitamin D as well. Um, if you want more information on uh, nutrients for vegans specifically, I highly recommend veganhealth.org, uh, specifically the daily needs page. DHA, also from Symbiotica, which she takes every day or every other day, $72 for a 30-day supply. It's still not clear how important DHA is for vegans. Obviously, it's important, but it's not clear if we need extra if everyone needs extra. Um, if you are consuming ALA, you know, walnuts, flaxseed, chia seed, hemp seed, canola oil, but many do recommend it as just a precaution and many vegan RDs like Jenny Messina do take it themselves. Um, I kind of go back and forth when I'm pregnant, I take it regularly when I'm not, eh, I don't know, man. Needless to say, you can find vegan DHA for way cheaper than $72 a month. More silver from Symbiotica, not uh, colloidal silver, as Christina says, but coated silver, they are different somehow. Just one drop of water in your day can really boost your immune system and protect you. Seriously, again, there is no evidence that this is going to protect you from anything. Please do not drink silver. And boosting your immune system which is what you know everyone talks about. It's this good thing, it's what you want, right? No, it's not what you want, particularly right now. A hyperactive immune response is responsible for allergic reactions to ordinary non-toxic substances. It also underlies a number of major diseases, including diabetes, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. Anyway, this immune boosting silver is $120 for 83 servings, so about $43 per month. And again, she makes no mention of this, of the price. She makes no mention of potential side effects or drug interactions. Sheila Jet, Sheila Jet, Sheila Jet, Jet. Black Gold. I, I had to look this one up. This one is $67, also from Symbiotica. Apparently it's a resin type thing that's found in rocks and it can activate full cellular potential. Yeah, th this is a company I should trust. I'm feeling that real strongly. 
The science on this tar-like substance is scant. One study found it increased testosterone levels, another said it might have some benefit in helping control Alzheimer's, but adds that more investigations at the basic biological level as well as clinical trials are necessary. Also, this article is really interesting. It looks at products that are sold on both Goop and Infowars. There are a lot of them, a lot of similarities, which I guess shouldn't be too surprising. Vitamin C, which absolutely shocked me. A 90-day serving is $20, so it's way cheaper than anything we've seen so far, but why she thinks she needs vitamin C? She even says, I don't take these every day because I get vitamin C from the cellular health bundle, but every now and then I'll take maybe once or twice a week a couple extra vitamin C pills just in case. She eats pounds of fruits and vegetables a day. According to her, tons of fruit, fruit and vegetables for like every meal. Why she thinks she needs extra vitamin C, she doesn't say. I, I, I don't know, man. Again, I guess it's just this idea that more is better. In part because of the tireless but misguided efforts of Nobel laureate Linus Pauling and others, many people believe that extra vitamin C can prevent colds, supercharge the immune system, detoxify the body, protect the heart, fight cancer, and more. To date, the evidence doesn't support claims that extra vitamin C is helpful. This is from a Harvard Health article on kidney stones, actually, which I talked about recently. Please don't take high-dose supplements, including high-dose vitamin C, unless you've been instructed to by a doctor. Just eat a fucking orange. Like, of all people, Christina should be the one to tell you that, right? Zinc, liquid zinc, 30 servings for $19.99. Again, zinc can be useful for vegans, particularly vegans like Christina, who are not consuming a lot of good plant sources for zinc. And there is some evidence that it shortens the duration of regular colds, just your your regular everyday cold, right? Um, if you take it at like the onset of symptoms, so as soon as possible. Um, it doesn't make you feel any better, it just shortens the cold by about a day, I think. In any event, if you just need more zinc because you're deficient or you think you're not getting enough, a multi should have some zinc for you. Um, and if you want to get just zinc on its own, maybe you've been instructed to by a doctor, or again, you want to have some on hand in case you do um, start feeling like you're getting a cold, you know, a tickly throat or anything like that, then obviously you can find zinc for way cheaper than $20 a month. Two more products from Symbiotica. I think this is, oh no, no, it's not it. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, this Golden Mind Advanced Brain Nutrients, it's a nootropic, whatever, $58 a month, strategically formulated to spark peak mental performance, but more importantly, to strengthen the structure of the brain and protect against cognitive decline as we age. Holy hell. It's mostly lion's mane, which I already talked about in detail in my Four Sigmatic reviews, so check that out. The Rumi one, also 48, sorry, $58. It's supposed to help you sleep. Some of these may help with that, like melatonin and chamomile, but you can find these for way cheaper elsewhere. I feel like a broken record now. And if you are struggling with sleep, it's better to number one, talk with your doctor. And number two, try one thing at a time. If you're taking some sort of combination of a bunch of different ingredients like this, you have no idea which ingredient is doing what, like if it's actually working, you don't know what's making it, you know, work for you, assuming it's not placebo, which, you know, whatever. Um, and also there aren't studies on like this specific product or this combination of ingredients, right? There are studies on melatonin, there are studies on chamomile, there are studies on some of the other um, ingredients in this thing, but there aren't any studies on this product and on this combination of ingredients. Activated charcoal, I've already talked about this one as well. Please don't eat it and please don't take it with food or with other supplements since it does actually interfere with nutrient absorption. Um, she says that it absorbs the toxins in your body, which is true. I mean, the way she says it, yeah, whatever. But yeah, she doesn't make any mention of like essential nutrients that also can be removed and that, you know, you may, you may want those things. And also no mention of the fact that like no major health organization is recommending people to consume activated charcoal, but she's not a doctor, so it's all right. 
Barley grass, juice powder, raw vegans are obsessed with this stuff. I don't understand why you take such a tiny amount, amount, like there's barely anything in it. What is the point? Probably isn't harmful, but absolutely a waste of money. So that's everything she takes to set a good example, as she says. I don't see how encouraging your audience to spend hundreds of dollars a month on supplements that they don't need or supplements that they do need, but they can get elsewhere. I don't see how that is setting a good example, especially when you say that you don't need any of this stuff, but you're taking it, implying that it's fine to just take all of this stuff and there are no potential side effects whatsoever. How is that setting a good example? And the idea that this will help at all with viruses, you know, with our current situation. So far, there is no evidence that taking extra amounts of any vitamin will improve your immune system or protect you if you don't have micronutrient deficiencies. You guys know that I'm not anti-supplements by any means, but I am anti-certain supplements, probably most supplements, honestly. You know, most of them are pointless, something like the barley grass juice powder, or pointless and potentially harmful, like silver. But there are a lot of instances where supplements make sense. Talking about vegan specifically, supplemental calcium, you know, from fortified non-dairy milk or whatever, often makes sense for us since it can be easy not to get enough. Supplemental zinc makes sense for some vegans. Supplemental B12 makes sense for all vegans. Supplemental vitamin D makes sense for a lot of people in general. But magnesium? Vitamin C? Like, you know, most multis contain these in like small to moderate amounts, which is fine, but no one should be taking these high doses as Christina recommends, again, unless they've been instructed to by a doctor. And as Christina assures us, I am not a doctor. If you are concerned about supplements that you should be taking as a vegan, again, Jack Norris's daily needs page at veganhealth.org is excellent, but please don't start supplementing with a bunch of stuff, with anything, in an attempt to prevent getting the virus or to recover faster or whatever the fuck she's trying to say. She's very vague. It's horrible. You know, it, it's, it, I think any video like this should be removed. Anything coming close to suggesting that supplements can protect you should be removed. And this is not the first time she's done this. It's not her first foray into this. Um, she had a video, it's still up. It was called something antiviral juice. She has changed the title as if that changes anything. And this whole video, it's what, like 15 minutes long? She never mentions the most important things. Social distancing, staying at home as much as possible, going out as little as possible, only for essentials, um, you know, washing your hands, not touching your face, which is what I'm doing right now, it's horrible. Um, you know, wearing masks when you go to the grocery store. She doesn't mention any of that stuff, not once, but she'll recommend $500 worth of supplements. Oh. <sighs> Again, at least Freely's video got removed, right? I mean, that's something. That's something to be happy about. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Subscribe, support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. And I will have a new video very soon.